that's a lot of energy, right? So let's let's say 25, give IBM the benefit of the doubt. And so to, to start with the large energy scale, let's start with the one we kind of understand this, right? How much build how much energy does it take to build a house? How much energy does it take to build a skyscraper? We can actually measure that pretty closely, right? So um I'm I'm looking at say these superconducting qubit technologies. I, IBM is maybe the most forward and out there. Um, according to their blog, they use a 25 kilowatt refrigerator, which they have to run for 96 hours to get their qubits cold enough. Now, I, I gave this talk last week, and um, one of the guys from IBM, uh, who I actually really quite like, he said, I think it's a 50 kilowatt refrigerator. It's like, okay, that's a lot of energy, right? So let's let's say 25, give IBM the benefit of the doubt. So, but you, you do the math; it's 2.4 megawatt hours right. of electricity to get to that computation. And in this world, we can't ignore that overhead. We can't ignore that time overhead, and we can't ignore that energy overhead. And so you ask the second question, how much can you get done in four days using 25 kilowatt hours of electricity? That's like 400 laptops running at full tilt right. for four days. Like, can you get a pretty good approximation of literally anything running that fast? It's like, um, not everything, but an extremely large set of problems you can get a good approximation for. And so um, I, I was uh, in a business meeting a few months ago with the, the former head of Renaissance Technologies, and I pitched this question to him, right? I can find you an approximate portfolio of stocks that you want to trade, which will give you, let's say, 28.1% return. Or I could run for four days and I could get you 28.1000000007% return. And he's like, well, I'll take the first one all day, right? By the time I, the, the stock market's already changed in that four days. So that, that 0.0007% return is, it's actually negative, right? Because you're paying for that in time and volatility. 